Great day everybody, welcome to Skill Up Dimension. Today we got here another video from audio software called Audacity and today I would like to show you how to bus boost your audio. Okay, so first of all you need to select the part which you can bus boost. So let's say in my case it's again this part of the audio. Okay, so after you highlight the part you want to bus boost, you will simply go to effect. And there are actually multiple options how you can bus boost. So let's start with first filter curve. So filter curve EQ is basically equalization effect in which you can use the bus boost. If you want to know more about the filter curve EQ, just watch our previous video in which we talked about equalization effects at all. But today I will show you just shortly how to use the bus boost. So as you can see, here is the green line, which is showing actually which frequencies are boosted by how many decibels. So as you can see, the default is the zero, so there is no equalization added. But of course, the guys from Audacity thought about you and they added you the preset for bus boost. So you can go simply to manage and then go to factory preset. Here you can see the bus boost or actually the bus cut too. But in our case, we want to use the bus boost effect. And as you can see, the line already changed. So now if we click on OK, the bus boost effect is applied. But of course, we don't want to applicate it right now. We want to preview it firstly. And if something is not too perfect, we want to play a bit with the line. So, okay, so same as in the previous videos, the buses are quite a strong, at least for me. So I will decrease the decibels and now let's preview it again. Okay, so much better, at least for me. Okay, and now when we are happy with how the actual audio sound, we can click on OK and the effect will apply to audio which we selected. So this was the first way how you can use the bus boost. I will now click on control plus. If you want to know how to use all of the shortcuts in Audacity, simply click on one of our previous videos. But now we are going straight for second way how you can use the bus boost. So let's select again the part of the audio we want to bus boost, then go again to effect and click on the graphic EQ. The same as at the previous, we told about this in the previous videos, but basically what you need to know, it is similar as the previous equalization tool, but in the previous effect, you could see that there was the plot at which you basically draw the curve. Here you are drawing the curve by moving with those sliders. So as you can see here, the default value is again everything at a zero, the same as it was at the previous tool when it was just the green line at the middle. But again, here you can choose from factory presets and use the bus boost. And as you can see, the shape of the curve is the similar, if not the same as it was at the previous equalization tool. So if we preview it, Yeah, you can see it again has the bus boost, but again, for me, it's boosted quite too much. So I would rather decrease some kind of volumes and then let's listen to it, how it actually sounds. Okay, it sounded so much better. So simply I can click on okay and our bus boost is already at our audio. But there are of course not only those two options, there is one more way. So Ctrl Z and again we have already highlighted part of our audio. We'll click on OK and now bus and treble. Here you can see again several sliders but basically what you need to know. The bus in the decibels is the amount of gain at the amplification above zero decibels or attenuation below zero decibels to bus frequencies which are the low frequencies basically. So basically you can set this to a positive amount to boost the bus or to negative amount to reduce the bus. Bus gain is applied to frequencies lower than 1000 Hz with the most gain being applied to frequencies about 100 Hz or lower. Next we got your treble which is saying about the amount of gain to treble frequencies which are the high frequencies. So if you set this to positive amount to boost a treble 
or to negative amount to reduce the treble. Treble gain is applied to frequencies that are higher than 1000 Hz, uh, with the most gain being applied to frequencies above 10,000 Hz. So basically here you can see it is uh, really similar as it was at the equalization tools. But basically here you have not already too many sliders. You can simply boost or reduce your buses or you can boost or reduce your treble. Nextly we got here of course the volume. This slider can increase or reduces the overall level by up to plus or minus 30 decibels. So applying a boost to the bus or treble will tend to increase the overall level. As a result, the final level may be pushed so high that it dissolves. What means that it can go even higher than zero decibels. What is really not great as I said already in many previous videos. For example, in the video about denormalizing, which you can find out on our channel. So to avoid clipping, reduce the level by setting the volume control lower. Reducing the bus or treble may take the final level too quiet. But watch out, it's working in the opposite direction too. Because the reducing the bus or treble may make the final level too quiet so you need to compensate it then by, uh, by setting level volume higher nextly we can see here link volume control to tone control when this is enabled that means check adjusting either the bus or treble controls will automatically adjust the volume controls so as to lessen the change in the resulting output level so basically when we have checked this and we are moving with the bus to the right side so we are bus boosting basically you can see that the volume is automatically decreasing to we are not reaching the zero decibels what is really useful that you don't need to do it by yourself manually and basically calculate how much you need to decrease your volume but the software will do it by itself okay next we got here again button manage in which as you can see we have no preset only default for now but you can of course create your own preset save it and nextly use it whenever you want nextly we got here the start playback that starts playback of the effect preview and nextly we got here the skip backward which skips backward through the effect preview and the skip forward will do the opposite and it skip forward through the effect preview uh, and this enable means that you listen to the preview with or without the effect applied so basically when you check this okay so let's say that we will bus boost by 12 and then we will start the playback And as you can hear, it sounds exactly as the default audio. But if we will click on enable, you can hear the buses are already boosted. Of course, we can decrease it a bit because it was quite too much. But actually, it's quite a good effect because you can enable it or disable during the playback. what is actually really useful. Okay, so let's set up some bus boost. So uh, factory presets default. Now I will click on link volume control to tone and I will click on enable here. Then we want to set up the buses, let's say plus uh, six decibels. And I believe that's quite a good. Yo. Yeah, that's good. That's not too much, not too low, basically simple bus boost. But of course you can do whatever you want. You can bus boost 5, 10, 20, whatever you want. In the end, everybody has different audio. Everybody has different recording devices and so on and so on. And everybody has the different taste. So do whatever you like in the Audacity. And basically when you are finished with your settings, click on apply. As you can see, the wave actually changed because the effect was applied to the audio wave. And at this effect, you have actually not something like okay, uh, but you can simply close the window because when you will click on apply multiple times, as you can see, it will apply uh, easily to the infinite. Just, just please don't do that. Basically, I don't even want to listen to this right now. It have to be horrible. So simply close the window. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this video. I really hope you like it. I really hope I helped you. Uh, if you want to see more tutorial videos from audio software called Audacity, simply hit the like button. And if you want to support this channel, please hit the subscribe. Or if you want to support this channel too much, you can become our patron at the Patreon page by what you can support our tutorial series at all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So this is really all. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see ya at the next video, goodbye.